Guys, we've had an incredible journey on Wheel of Mud this entire year. From Rob Gronkowski being the best prestige I've probably ever done, to Nick Bosa, who looked like the worst prestige ever, and glowed up to the best edge rusher in the game. Welcome to a brand new season. We are in the dead middle of the NFL playoffs, so I'm excited to make this season. It's gonna be a really good time. And we've got some housekeeping to do since it's a brand new season. Let's start by looking at the team and our new prestige player. On offense, there is nobody new. We've still got our prestige Jamar Chase. We've still got our prestige Rob Gronkowski. Now, last season, I did have Puka Nakua, and Puka Nakua recently got a super strong 95 overall limited for his insane game against the Lions. But I do already have a wide receiver, and I'm holding on hope Jamar Chase could still get a team of the year. He got one last year, I believe, in the Bengals faithful fans to vote for that since EA's team of the year is a fan vote. Which means that my prestige was a defensive player. This might not be a shocker. It's 93 overall Jalen Carter. Gosh, I gotta say, after watching the Eagles pitiful playoff game against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I was kind of on the fence about this, but you gotta remember, the reason I'm prestiging Jalen Carter is I think he's gonna get defensive rookie of the year. My other option was Will Anderson, but playoff performance does not matter for these awards. All these awards are regular season awards. So yeah, Will Anderson's looking a little bit better right now because I'm biased and I saw the Texans play, but still, I think Jalen Carter's getting defensive rookie of the year. I've got a 93 overall with a discounted inside stuff for Regardless. And once he gets that NFL honors card, I expect it to be a 97 overall. And when he drops, he'll be the best D tackle in the game. So that's what we're going for there. Obviously, we still have Bosa, who's an absolute dog. We still have our prestige Ray Lewis, who's an absolute killer. <laughs> 92 Ray Lewis is obviously not good enough to replace the cover athlete limited, but as you guys may know, this season for Ray Lewis right here does have an upgrade path that turns him into a super dominant 96 overall. It's gonna take me some time to get that. We're already level 21, but I think we gotta get to level 40 or 50 to make this happen, but I'm entitled to the best version of Ray Lewis, so as soon as we get that, we can sub him in, and Ray Lewis is gonna get even better, so that's really cool to look forward to. Derwin James is another really early prestige. He got this unstoppable card early on. Great card. Since then, he hasn't got anything. And at this point, it's fair to say that he is outdated. He gets a good ability in deep end zone KO and he's played okay, but 89 speed's definitely gonna get me in trouble. So we either gotta hope for a Durbin James card or we're gonna have to replace him at some point this season. My issue with this is I don't see how he gets a card. Maybe he gets a team of the year because Chargers come out and vote for him or maybe EA drops some bizarre promo that he's in, but Chargers ain't in the playoffs, so he's not getting a playoff card. He didn't really do much this season. I just don't know how he's gonna get a card. He'd have to get like a random team of the week throwback. I don't know. So that's our lineup to start out. We're at a 74 overall. We also have our prestige Harrison Butker, so we still got a good kicker. Really glad I did that. And since I won the Super Bowl, I was going to open the trophy packs, but I wanna try something new today. At the start of every Wheel of Mutt season, I spin in the team wheel. The team wheel decides my jersey, stadium, coach, and most importantly, it determines my offensive and defensive playbooks. And one thing I've been thinking about is what if I took one player from that team as well to basically be my team captain? They represent our Wheel of Mutt team. So instead of the trophy packs, I'm gonna do that today. We're gonna spin this team wheel to determine what team I am for this season of Wheel of Mutt, and I'll take one player of my choice from that team to represent the squad. So so it's really like a team wheel jackpot. Final stipulation, I'm only spinning a wheel of playoff teams. The reason I'm, oh my God, I'm gonna be Dallas. No! Dude, I actually love Dallas's uniforms, but does this mean I'm guaranteed to choke in the wild card? Does this mean I'm gonna lose to the seventh seed? I'll tell you one thing, Dak Prescott is not my team captain. <laughs> Hey, well, first things first, we got Mike McCarthy at coach. We got Cowboys Stadium. And dude, I'm telling you, Cowboys uniforms are sick. And like I said, most importantly, we have Cowboys offense and Cowboys defense. I can personally say I have never used either. Cowboys offense is balanced. Cowboys defense is Tampa 2. We'll see what they got. We'll make it work as we always do. I'm excited to check it out. And now I'm gonna go grab one Cowboys player to represent this team. I decided to only spin playoff teams 
since we're in the playoffs. Thought that would be fun, but normally I'm not going to do that. Ironically, I get the Cowboys who aren't actually in the playoffs anymore, so I guess that's my karma. What do the Cowboys have? Unfortunately, they didn't do much in the playoffs, so they don't have anything. Ooh. There's a 94 overall CD Lamb. I really like that. And then there's 94 Malik Hooker. Malik Hooker is a demon. I love this Malik Hooker. There is a third. It's primetime limited wide receiver, but I'm not going to go with him. I'm going to go with 94 overall CD Lamb. Honestly, this is a great guy to represent the team. CD was so good the entire season. I genuinely feel bad for him. As a wide receiver, you really have only so much of a say in what goes down in the playoffs. 94 speed, 94 jump, 94 deep route run. Excellent to everything. Great spec catch. His catch and traffic is a little low. I'm kind of shocked by that. Uh, but he's still an incredible card. I don't think it's going to matter. And honestly, Jamar needs a little bit of help because that Jamar is from Halloween. So 94 CD Lamb is our Dallas Cowboys representative. I'm going to go pick up a CD Lamb jersey as well so I can rep our team captain. Just a classic little tax write-off for Wheel of Mutt. Get fucked, IRS. Short out elite wide receiver apprentice. Ugh. Wide receiver apprentice will be good if I don't get a hot route master quarterback in any of our wheel spins. So for now, I'm just going to give him double me. Call it a day. Put him at wide receiver too. I'm also going to put him at slot wide receiver. We'll see what CD can do. I imagine he's going to have a great season. So boys, we're ready to start season five. I've got my team captain CD Lamb. We're the Dallas Cowboys for season five. Let's see if we can um win a playoff game. This one's for you, Cowboys fans. We can do this, I believe. All right, boys, the season five wheel. Let's have another amazing season. Let's start out with a nice spin, yeah? Rookies, ooh, CJ. Please tell me CJ Stroud has a nasty card. Dude, the best card that CJ Stroud has is a 91. Dude, I just know that CJ Stroud is gonna get an insane card in the second wave of playoffs, but it hasn't dropped yet. Wait a minute, what am I talking about? When 95 overall, 96 speed, Zay Flowers is looking you dead in the face for a Wheel of Mutt season five opener, you drop 1.7 mil and you buy Zay Flowers. Dude, rookie jackpot is usually not that good because there's usually not that many insane rookies. But when every rookie is going off, you got some crazy cards. Low-key sad I couldn't get CJ Stroud, but the good news is I know EA is going to give CJ Stroud a good card. It's just a matter of time, and we could still add him in the future. We just can't add him today. We're going to get 95 Zay Flowers, and I officially have three absolutely nutty wide receivers in Zay Flowers, CD Lamb, and Jamar Chase. I'm putting 95 Zay at wide receiver receiver one. He's boosted to a 96. Jamar Chase becomes wide receiver three and CD Lamb is wide receiver two. We've got no quarterback. We've got no halfback. We've got no offensive line. We've got no safeties or corners, but goddamn, we have some awesome wide receivers, huh? Our second wheel spin. That was honestly risky. There's a lot of better positions I could have taken, but... I gotta take that Zay when he's sitting right in front of me. We get the Team Diamond Team Wheel. So on this one, we will use every single team. We get the Team Diamond player associated with this team. This, I'm really hoping I get a position that we can actually use here. Sorry, I know it's the Commanders. I just, I just have this desire to be an asshole. So I keep it as Redskins. Ooh, this is kind of a nasty Team Diamond. Brian Arakpo. I used to use a Brian Arakpo back in Madden Mobile 15. Now he is a power rusher. He's more of an edge threat guy. But you know what? He has 80 zone? No, he's great. Okay, this is actually exactly what I'm looking for in linebackers because a lot of my pressure comes from Bosa. But at the same time, I actually don't know what Cowboys defense is gonna give me. Cowboys defense is catered to Micah Parsons. Ryan Arakpo is like a, a poor man's Micah Parsons. I don't mean that in a historical context. I mean in Madden, ultimate team, okay? I I'm sorry to the one gigantic Brian Arakpo fan that I just bravely offended. But 92 Brian Arakpo, we definitely we need an outside linebacker. We've got an outside linebacker and he can cover. This is a really nice pickup. Brian Arakpo, let's get it. Third and final wheel spin for the opener. I'm gonna say this, boys. If I don't get packs, this is gonna be an incredibly difficult game. Talk to me! Oh my God, I needed that so badly. Three of the newest promo packs. So technically the newest promo is not playoffs. It's actually AKA Cruz. I don't know if you guys saw this, but there's a Megatron. There's a few other players. You know what? I'm just gonna open them. We get three of these packs right here. Really gotta hope for a quarterback though. I don't even know if there is a quarterback. Lane Hitchkey should be nice. I'll put him at outside linebacker. The team of the week, Trey McBride, he'll be a backup tight end. And John Randall will be a star. I don't think there's a quarterback in here. Yeah, this is so risky. I have no halfback, no quarterback. Oh! 
Josh Dobbs, the Pastronaut. There is a quarterback. Dobbs got a 94 overall called the Pastronaut. And I just forgot about it until right now. That is huge. If You know what? 87 Dobbs can get the job done. Absolutely. Willie Rofe will be a starter. So will Bayard. And we get one more. This is save, just save this wheel of mud. I have a chance to win now. A very legitimate chance to win. Jordan Fuller, your ass. Why am I getting a headliner? Unstoppable. Sure, Deuce Vaughn. You're the starter. Oh my God. An actual midget. Wait, wait, wait. Oh my god, a 94! Dude, why? No matter what I do, I suck off the Ravens. Dude, this card's nasty! Yo, we kind of got some pass rush. 94 power moves, 93 finesse, 96 block shed, 88 speed. So he'll go across from Bosa. I assume he probably gets a crazy discounted ability too. He gets unstoppable force, aka crew, starts on for five plays. Jeez. Those packs had a quarterback and a halfback in it in exactly three. That is, that is magical. Halfback is 82 speed deuce vault. That is absolute dog shit, but if you can catch a pass every once in a while, you'll be all right. Left tackle is 80 Willie Rofe. We didn't get any other offensive linemen, so we're rocking all silvers. My backup tight end is 82 Trey McBride with 83 speed. Okay. Wide receivers are out of this fucking world good. Defensively, my free safety can be that new Kevin Byard we just picked up. Instead of Isaiah Bolden, I'm going to put that 80 overall Jordan Fuller we just picked up. We're just going to have to rock absolutely horrible horrible corners. Like, we're gonna get scored on. No question. My right outside linebacker is now 92 overall Brian Arakpo. New middle linebacker is Ray Nitschke, 87 overall. Or no, I'm gonna put him at outside linebacker. He's a, Actually, he's a higher overall at outside linebacker. And then D-tackle 2 is John Randall. And that's everybody we just picked up. Let's give Arakpo an ability just because we have the AP to give somebody an ability. Let's give him Crusher. And since we've got room, we can also stack Ray Lewis with some extra abilities too. So he's already got Lurk Artist. Might as well give him Crusher pressure too. Let's make people fucking feel it, man. I'm giving Zay Flowers mid in elite. I'm giving CD Lamb wide receiver apprentice. I will say I'm a firm believer that every game is winnable, but I don't like how this looks. All right, our challenge wheel. This is absolutely crucial right now. Let me see what we got. You're telling me I need the game's leading rusher with five foot six, 82 speed Deuce Vaughn? Are you serious? That or it's Josh Dobbs? Oh my God, this is the worst challenge I could have gotten. This is what we're doing? That's actually so uncool. I thought for a second that Madden's matchmaking was actually giving me someone with a similar overall team, and I am sadly mistaken. Spooky. Avalanche! You're lying. He just juked through my avalanche hit. That was about to be a fumble to start this out. William Perry just missed the pass as well. What I will say that's very good news is that was negative two yards there again. I've got the dig. Does he have something? Yeah, he does. Nice throw. Honestly, not bad defense. This is really scary, though. He has, like, the best team in the game. Am I exaggerating when I say that this time? No, I'm really not. I'm really not. Two rushes, four yards. Now, the thing about the challenge wheel that everyone's got to remember, if I complete the challenge wheel but lose the game, I can salvage one wheel spin, which means I could salvage the wheel spin that had the packs, or I could salvage Zay Flowers. Obviously, the goal is to win the game, but sometimes... Sometimes, uh, first and 10. I'm bringing Bayard down for the run. No run. Dig, dig, dig. Come on. I just need him to make a bad decision one time. Hey, Mara Beast! And Ray Lewis. Come home second and 19. I'm running man here. And I'm gonna try and get to William Perry. Oh, I got through! Yes! That was a touchdown for sure. Third and 19. He doesn't get it. I'm gonna go dime rush, cover four quarters. I don't know. Playing outside for the corner route. Okay, that's fine, actually. As long as we get the tackle, we do. Fourth and two. Dude, if I turn this dude over, holy shit. Oh, if he runs it, he's got it. Fourth and seven, too many audibles. I'm gonna guess pass. If he runs it, he gets it. It's that simple. Oh my God, I actually have a chance. Oh my God! Let's go! He tried, he panicked, he panicked. He insta threw it thinking it's the blitz. And Ray Lewis, lurk artist. Quick 180, he takes it home. Now we get to the scarier part, which is um, offense. Tillman, Randy Moss, Winfield, Carmichael, Anderson, Armstead, Mata Beast, Gronk, Bo, fuck you, man. Now we do have Vanguard on Gronk who lights up the other Gronk. And that 82 speed is deceptive. That's 15 yards Deuce Vaughn as I speak. He's the game's leading rusher. Gonna go down to Deuce Vaughn. Oh, here we go. I can run this weak side and get it. Beautiful. Deuce, Deuce! Two rushes, 24 yards. Yeah. Beautiful. Into Jamar Chase. Kind of an awkward catch. If that's a better ball, um, that can go for a lot. Let's add that to one of our favorites. RPO alert bubble. 
Okay, dude, snow fucking way got to me that fast. The crazy thing is I can't even punt because my punter is a silver. It's actually hang time. I don't know if you guys know who Michael Turk is, but he's my punter. Michael, I gotta say, bro, they did you so fucking dirty. You can't punt further than 20 yards. I've watched your YouTube shorts. I am certain you can punt further than 20 yards. Fourth and 18. That's actually insane. He just guessed pass, and I got four yards. We need the game's leading rusher. It's that simple. And I still want to play good defense just to prove to myself. Also, this is a good time to learn some plays, so let's do it. We're going to have to fight, though. We got to earn these players, so... Oh, my fucking God. He can just take off. Oh, my God. Derwin with the INT. Dude, what are you doing? I think Derwin James kind of blended in with the end zone there. All right, no, let's try and score. I take it back. Let's try and win. I didn't think I'd be able to turn him over again. I think Zay Flowers on just a burner is my best odds. No, he's not there at all. Dobbs gets out of the pocket, thank God, and he's hitting me with... He's hit... Dude, you're playing an 83 overall team. You don't have to hit me with the YouTube.com blitz, all right? You really don't. Yup. Yup. Well, sort of. Let's go CD Lamb on the check down. Josh Dobbs, nice throw on the run. You're an 87 overall making that throw. He's pressed up. We got to look at Zay Flowers. Zay Flowers is my best odds to score. Can I get around this? Josh Dobbs. Oh, no. Diving tackle from Mata Beast. We've got a chance to convert this. There he is. Jamar, hang on. Dude, you know how tilted he must be? Just watching me slowly, slowly, but surely potentially get yards. Hey, so single back wing pair stretch has been pretty money, uh, pretty money run play here. Let's send this to Gronk's side. Good God. Gronk just blew up every single one of those, but he still took a bad angle. Third and two. That's not bad. Deuce Vaughn's getting his yards. Let's run I-form slot dagger. We just need... Dude, I don't think he's going to guard this CD Lamb hitch. I think he's going to continue to leave this. Oh, no. That one's guarded. Go, Gronk. I need you, Gronk. Huge catch. Dude, Dobbs ain't bad. 87 Dobbs ain't bad at all. Two-minute warning. Is that the second quarter? Wait a minute. Don't tell me I could be winning going into half. We got to go deep at some point, right? CD! Got a double team here so that I have potential to roll out. Okay, CD Lamb, that's doable. Great catch that time. We've been clutch every single time. No reason to stop now. I think I'm going to take the deuce fawn yards here. This looks really, really good, actually. Yeah, this has chance. This has a chance. Oh, beautiful. <sighs> take the dive. Try and pick up extra. What? You only got two on that? Are you kidding? I'm looking for Zay on the slant. I got, I got CD. I got CD. Stay under. Got him! No knockout from Bo Jackson if he doesn't touch me. First and 10. I'm actually going to have the final possession of the first half, and I'm going to score. I don't know if it's a field goal or if it's a tutty, but I'm going to score. And he absolutely flies to... Wow, that's insane. Beautiful throw, Dobbs. Third and two. There's a timeout. Can we pick this up? Beautiful. Oh, my God. First and 10. Six seconds left. I kind of need to go for the touchdown. I have a feeling Zay Flowers gets in a seam here. Gronk. High ball. Inside. Up. That deep end zone KO on Bo is so good. He's hoeing me with that. All right, now it's field goal time. It's all Madden, so I got to lock in on this kick. That's why we prestige Butker, baby. That's why we did it. I can't believe I'm saying this, but against a literal God squad, we have the lead in the first half. I turned him over on the first drive. Oh my God, this is fucking winnable. This, is, this would go down as my greatest victory. I'm serious. This would go down my greatest victory. This is the most methodical. You know what's so funny about Madden, bro? Is when you give me the God squad, like when you give me the good team, I can never play like this. I play like an idiot. Idiot. I throw stupid passes, but right now I am marching down the field with the most pitiful offense you've ever seen. Well, that's not true. We're okay. Oh, deuce. Deuce, deuce. Deuce Vaughn, eight yards. Beautiful. Second and two. Single back wing pair stretch. This continues to work because he continues to have three down linemen. I form stretch. He like likes his nickel defense 11 rushes 52 yards for deuce clearly the game's leading rusher oh you're there cd oh 87 josh Dobbs. that was his first miss pass i can't really be mad about that he he's been making some good throws today i think cd's open in fact he is is he on peppers oh he's on carmen uh-oh i'm going grok uh-oh horrible ball that they called that perfect accuracy it was a stupid throw anyway uh he's gonna go megatron dude you're throwing out routes to double me I just got to contain Derrick Henry. That's actually the most important thing right now. And he doesn't go to Derrick Henry. Works for me. I'm going to put a Rackpo in that zone now, so we can't do that again. I have these bottled. Oh my god, that's actually... Yeah, that's just an overall difference. Bayard's an 84, Primetime's a 94. But that's a bad ball. You know he's going to hand this off. 
Bodies. Bodies. Second and goal. He passes. Okay, I got QB spies. We know what's a pass. We're guessing pass. He's not running it again. I'm going to sit over here so he won't throw Megatron. Come back to his hitch. I don't bail. I don't bail. I don't bail. Crazy throw. Nice catch. We're climbing Mount fucking Everest right now. Zay Flowers, whip round. That is the second straight perfect accuracy throw that can't be caught. I don't know. I think I'm expecting too much out of 87, Josh Dobbs, low key. Beautiful throw. I think he just got a DPI. Don't have to hand off Deuce Vaughn because he's clearly the leading rusher. Beautiful, Zay. Can I get the throw this time? Yes, I can. Can't turn up field, but we'll take the seven yards. Just got to use Gronk and Chase as clear outs. Oh, that's a sketchy ball, but he caught it. Nice work, Zay. Take me third in inches. I had to switch onto that or I actually get fucking lurked and lose the game. So I think uh, Zay Flower Hitch is there because he's in the same defense he was before and that outside guy is going to float. Uh, maybe fourth in inches. I actually don't trust the tush push. Not with this team. We're just going to stay in it. We're going to find our man. Got him. That's a huge hit, but he hangs on. Great work, CD. That's why you're the team captain, buddy. Zay. Oh, wow. That blitz was hot. No, just kidding. I got to come out of this. He's, he's, he's got me figured out on that. That's so stupid. Oh, oh my God. No. I needed to go down. Ah, that was absolutely diabolical insane. But I needed to get the first and go down in bounds. Holy shit, how did he not lurk this? He was so shocked at how fucking stupid that was that he couldn't lurk it. Because look at where I am on the field now. I can't use this entire clock. It's not possible. Here we go. Zay Flowers on the RPO. That's a monster RPO. God, that is so good. I think that's actually what he scored on me with. That's a blitz. So open. Dude, tell me why this is the best game I've ever Come on! Can we go for two? No, I'm not going to go for two. No, 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 no. I know why I'm not going for two. Because look, if he, if all he gets... Oh my God. Jeez, I'm telling you, man. It goes so fast. On that. If all he gets is a field goal, then I'm getting my own field. He's not going to use four minutes, six seconds of this clock and kick a field goal. I think he's either going to score quick or he's going to turn it over. So I'm going to take this. The reason eight to nine is so bad is if he scores and takes another two-point conversion, then I'd have to go to overtime. I think this is the right call. Ooh, get home. Guess who it is? Brian Arakpo. Second and 15. Oh, this is a Tampa two. I'm going to stay in it. A little risky. Oh, go tight end. Go tight end. Yikes. Although that's what I was saying. He's either going to score quick. Players are not high enough overall to make a play on that. The only person who had a shot there was Arakpo, but Arakpo doesn't have lurk artists. All right, this is fine. This really changes. In fact, this changes literally. That's pretty... Honestly, I like this better. If I if I score, I win. If I score with no time left, I win. That is the exact reason that my PAT was so important. Look at the fucking yards I missed. I am 100% outplaying him, but can I come away with the dub is the question. Going deuce, going deuce, going deuce. Just don't fumble, buddy. Deuce runs that route so horribly. I don't know if it's because of his overall or what. Played that well. I could have thrown that to A. I just didn't have the balls. God, I gotta have the balls right now. That was really bad. Right there. CD! Cut! I can't go end zone. Get down. Zay Flowers is open. He hasn't seen it in a while. Money. Great blocks. Stay, stay, stay. Don't get the first. Don't get the first. I can't get it that early. He's got two timeouts. Second and two. I, I can't score with him having 30 seconds and two timeouts. He will instantly get in field goal. Yep. He's there. Now we just grab it. Oh, Nice. Nice, Jamar. Way to fight. 91 overall Jamar fighting like a maniac. Take this clock down, buddy. I just need a little bit of yards. Zay, great catch. That's exactly what I need. We take this down to 20. I think Zay Flowers might be the touchdown. He's going to try and get to it. No. I just held X to throw that on the timeout at 12. That was a mistake. I tried to throw that to the bubble. I'm going to give Zay the whip. Who the fuck said that? What's the name of that peck of wood boy from town that works with the glass? Uh... Uh, it's Zay Flowers. I'm gonna give Zay the whip. Well, come on inside and get yourself something cool to drink. Zay Flowers, no! Fuck! Zay Flowers was there! Oh, I didn't see the pressure. Worth in 14 for every fucking marble you've ever had. Every marble you've ever seen. I think Gronk's my guy. Give me some time. I just gotta go for it. Damn. 
The most unbelievable part right there was I held X. Zay Flowers was the throw with X. And for some input lag or whatever it was, it hands off the Deuce Vaughn and he instantly dives forward with X. So it registered the X push, but it doesn't register the throw. That was a hell of a game. I'm really not mad. I just took a God Squad to the final play. And honestly, I lost on some BS, man. Oh, they won't even show me it. So this is where Zay Flowers was open. Is anybody else open? CD might have been open, might have been intercepted. Probably could have gone far right. Could have gone right here to Jamar. But I was looking at Zay, who breaks on this out route, and I got sacked instantly. For the challenge, Will, we needed our game's leading rusher. Look at Deuce falling 12 for 51. Outrushed Eric Henry. I mean, he only had three carries. Did you get the idea? Jamar? Jamar. Wide receiver three, okay? Seven for 89 and a touchdown. Gotta give it to him. Six for 41. Zay, five for 76 CD. We really played our fucking hearts out. So for completing my challenge, Will, I could either get a pack from the store or salvage a wheel spin. One of our wheel spins was Zay Flower, who's obviously incredible. Another one of our wheel spins was a boatload of players. Dobbs, Vaughn, Willie Rowe, Trey McBride, Kevin Byard, Ray Nitschke, Matabuike, John Randall, Jordan Fuller. So, gosh, that Matabuike is really good. And then, obviously, the third wheel spin was Brian Arakpo, but he's really not on the table. He's an okay card, but it's gotta be between Zay Flowers and this onslaught of players. The amount of players is very helpful, but every single one of these players is probably probably not gonna make the end game team other than maybe Matabuike. I really want this Zay Flowers. I've decided, boys, I'm I'm gonna salvage Zay Flowers, the most expensive wide receiver in the game for a reason. My end game team's gonna need this. So we're thinking for the long haul, but next episode's probably still gonna be pretty tough. Can we give it up for Josh Dobbs though? Josh Dobbs almost outplayed an absolute God squad. I'm so proud of him. All right, boys, the team is reset to exactly how it should look. Our record on the season is 0 and 1, but we get to keep 96 overall Zay Flowers. We've got absurdly good wide receivers who had amazing games, all three of them had an amazing game. Gonna have to get ourselves a quarterback and a halfback once again. And obviously lots to patch up on the defense, but you know what? Played our hearts out. I'm geeked about it. All right, boys. I love y'all. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.